Hi guys! We got some new looms. Okay, so first, um, I got the round loom set. It is a 5 8 chunky yarn gauge. And this is from KB Looms or Authentic Knitting Board. Um, let's see the different sizes. So this is what they look like out of the box. Um, you have a 24 peg, a 36, and a 48. And these are made really, really nicely. They've got the nice big pegs. Um, they have the KB Let me see if that'll focus for you. It's not going to. But anyway, it has the KB stamp on there and something new that they have done. Okay. That's what I wanted y'all to see. Get on to the looms. So no more counting the pegs. We know this is 24 pegs and it's a five inch gauge. Awesome. The same with the other ones, they are all marked. Is that a chance to focus? Doesn't like the white, I guess. Let's see about the orange. There we go. 48 pegs on a 5 8 gauge for the largest one. And this one is. Yeah, it just doesn't like the white. It's not wanting to focus for me. But that one says 36 pegs. So that's those. And I did try, I used the 36 peg, and I started just a little swatch. Now this is um, a 10 stitch blanket. Let me zoom out a little bit. So this was just a 10 stitch blanket swatch that I started holding um, two strands of worsted weight yarn together. It's very soft and squishy. Um, so I definitely recommend doing using two strands of worsted weight on these looms. Um, I think that one strand is just a little too loose, but, but that's just my personal preference. Okay, so okay, and the next thing I got was the baby knit looms. And these are 3 8 gauge and for a thinner size yarn. So these could be used with our number four weight. And this is how it comes packaged. The little zip tie around it so that they stay protected. Um, again, they're made out of the same material as the ones I just showed you. We have a 24 peg and a 56 peg. And these, let's oh see, that automatically focused for you. I love that new addition that they've put on there. 56 pegs and 3 eighths, 24 pegs and 3 eighths. We all know that it is horrible Sorry about that for hitting the camera. We all know how cumbersome it can be when you are trying to remember how many pegs a certain loom has and then you have to go back and recount and recount and it's just, it can get pretty uh, annoying. So I'm so glad that they listened to the customers and added that new 
edition. So that is going to be a big help. And finally, now I've had this for a while. I just have not, to be honest with you, I have not pulled it out of the box. The last thing I've got to show you, let me just set these other looms off over here to the side, is the double knit loom, the rotating loom. Um, now, I will tell you that I've got another one coming in the mail. <laughs> and the reason is, is because Knitting Board has come up with some things, some attachments, if you will, that you can put right on to this Lazy Susan right here with these legs. And then you can make, so with those attachments, you can set another loom on it like this. And so then you have a rotating loom on your lap or wherever you like to do your loom knitting. So I was really excited about that. So let's put this thing together. So it comes with your Lazy Susan part. It comes with six legs, some knitting instructions. Of course, it comes with a standard loom knitting tool. I personally like their ergonomic one, so that's what I'll be using. So the legs pop in like this. Real easy. If you have any of their other looms, like their hat loom, same concept, everything just pops in really nice. It can only go in one way. So this is your inner part. And once you have the legs on there, anyway, once you get your little handles on, you just come back here and line these up. And you pop them on in place. Okay. So these are gonna go this way. Those are gonna pop in like that. And this is your outer loom. And just line those pieces up and pop them on in. So there you go. So you have your starting peg here with your arrow. And so you can just double knit like that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I have not, like I said, I haven't tried this one yet. <coughs> Excuse my little doggy in the background. I um, haven't tried this one yet, but I do have a pattern that I spent probably about five hours on yesterday writing up and working out. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> so, in the instruction booklet, it comes with a couple patterns. Um, step by step, how to start off on the loom lots of different things there um, I really love um, knitting board they have some excellent products and I really really like the pegs because the way they're shaped at the top um, it's real easy for you to get your hook in there and you don't have to worry about your yarn getting stuck over on the top of the hook or that kind of thing. So anyway, 
that is my open box review of these three products if you've tried them let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear which you, what your thoughts are on them I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching my videos please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button thanks guys